if you're new to fasting or maybe you've tried it before but you're struggling to see results, honestly, I'm not surprised. There is so much mixed information trying to sell you something. Fasting Tube is independent and focusing on real information. Let's get started with today's video. The question, what is the effect of intermittent fasting on a fatty liver? Great question. Intermittent fasting and extended water only fasting can have the greatest effect on a fatty liver. Fasting is the body's way of dealing with stored fat. No fast, no fat burn. Here is the way I apply intermittent fasting in my life and a plan that could help you deal with a fatty liver, very dangerous but easy to fix. You just have to want to fix it. Change is intentional. I have a four-word answer to resolve your fatty liver issue. Fast daily and eat responsibly. These four simple words are the proper diet plan you are looking for when it comes to fatty liver because it is easy. Fast daily. Fasting is so easy you cannot screw it up. It is about eating nothing, no planning, no buying, no cost, oh so easy. It's all about you. You might screw up. Yes we all fail, and eat during your fasting window, but you just shake it off and start fasting again. Everyone can fast. There are many different styles of fasting, I am only referencing water only fast, that are effective and supported by research. No juice fast, no veggies fast, just water, and black coffee and tea with no additions. The key is to reducing your insulin levels in your body in order to burn the excess fat stored in your body. No fat, burn no weight loss, that's simple. I recommend the combination of intermittent fasting techniques, time-restricted feeding TRF and periodic water-only fasting. Fast daily, TRF, time-restricted feeding is when you eat in a defined eating window and fast the remainder of the day. You want to start out with a 16-8 eating all of your meals in an 8-hour window and fasting for 16 hours. Most start by skipping breakfast eating lunch around 12 to 1 p.m. and dinner around 8. The sooner you can compress the feeding window down to 46 hours the better your results. I personally practiced TRF with a feeding window of 45 hours. Please note you need to stay hydrated while fasting. Consuming 80 to 120 ounces of water per day should be adequate. TRF, time restricted feeding, periodic water only fast. In an effort to accelerate weight loss and cell rebuilding, everyone should have an annual fasting schedule. General health issues would require less frequent periods while those working to lose large amounts of weight would increase the frequency. I would recommend starting with a monthly periodic fast in combination with daily TRF. A periodic fast is when you will go 2-5 to five days with water, coffee or tea. During this time your body will run on fat stores accelerating your weight loss. The key to long-term benefits if when you break your extended fast. Do not gorge, take it easy and eat high-quality veggies and proteins, preferably plant proteins. At the end of your fast your body is as high in human growth hormones and will generate stem cells to rebuild organs and muscles. Periodic water only fast. Eat responsibly. Change in diet can be gradual starting with the elimination of sugar and refined carbs. Carbs are not bad, just eat them whole. I recommend a predominantly whole foods plant-based diet, veggies, beans, legumes, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and if you have to clean lean meat until you are ready to go all plants. Focus on foods that do not spike your insulin. You have to say not to the alcohol, beer, wine and spirits, in the beginning, once you have reached your goal, an occasional social drink is okay. Daily drinking will put you right back to where you came from. Eat responsibly. Exercise, optional in the beginning. I recommend just doing body weight exercises in the beginning with some cardio. I do mostly pull-ups, push-ups, dips and squats. If I go to a gym, just occasionally, I do dumbbells. I run for the heat and mental benefits, serotonin. Exercise, weight loss should be an adventure you want to go on and not one that is dreaded every day. In my quest to make 60 the new 30, I use this strategy on a daily basis. I enjoy it and feel the benefits daily. This lifestyle will give you total control over your weight and health. All you need to do is embrace it. Change is intentional, are you ready? Let me know if this has been helpful as I am always evaluating how effective my answers are on Quora. If you have any questions use the message feature here on Quora and I will help as much as I can. Always seek the advice of a medical professional if you do not feel comfortable or are experiencing medical conditions that require their assistance. Rob Stellin, 55-year-old fasting vegan, walking the walk to help others with the daily struggles of life. Join me on my 5-year journey to make 60 the new 30, Rob's Healthy Living page, 5 Steps to a Better You, and Instagram, Twitter at Rob Stellin.